responsibility. This certification from the Marine Stewardship Council is one of the most highly respected guarantees of global sustainability in our oceans. And today, Adam and I are going to see firsthand just how it works in practice. Over the expanse of this massive area, it doesn't get much more than seven feet deep. We're in 30 centimetres here now. Yeah, she's a real shallow water. Wow. But Brendan doesn't mind working within tight limits of water or rules. In actual fact, the restrictions in that we have here really benefit us. You have certain size nets, so you allow smaller fish to grow to bigger fish. You can really farm the area without actually having to oh, devastate it. Dead right. And those nets don't just catch sea mullet. Brennan, what sort of bycatch are you going to get out of this shot? We may catch an undersized crab. That might be as far as it'll go. We're targeting fish in this manner because we're seeing it. It's not the fact that you just say, well, the what, what's there, is, you don't know what, what, yeah, what it is. The depth sound is showing fish at 30 feet. We run a net around it and whatever it is, we'll find out. So you know that there's mullet in this hall right here? I can tell you there is, there is sea mullet in this shot and there is a little handful of yellow-eyed mullet. Which Beautiful. Is exactly what I'm, I'm chasing. While the net mesh size is strictly limited by the MSC certification, the length of the haul net Brendan loops out around the fish is also restricted. The big loop's been done. Gosh, the pelicans know, don't they? Wow, Pelican City. Oh, I can feel a bit of, bit of bang, bang, bang in the net. And what size are you after? 30 odd? Yeah, all those little fellas are just straight through and we'll just sieve out what few good ones are here. And the mullet they net aren't just sea mullet. Big yellow eye. That's your sea mullet. OK, so the difference? We call them yellow eye because see how they have a brighter yellow eye? Yeah. And mullet's very broad in the head, whereas the yellow eye is a little bit narrower. Yes, OK. So these guys are really tasty. They are very nice eating, and, and mullet are nice eating. And they're coming out of a very pristine estuary here, aren't they? Yeah, well, look at the you know, sandy bottom. Super nice. clear water. Yep, nice colourful, and you know we're, we're laughing. What do you reckon, mate? Do you reckon you could do something with a fish like this? Oh, most definitely. I mean, fry it up. Sounds delightful. Yeah, it'd be pretty simple, I reckon. Really good size fillet off that. It's a nice firm fish as well. Yeah. All right, we've got a few more coming on board. Well, mate, you haven't done this before, have you? No, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a new one in my line. Yeah. Different. It's good when you can come out and see the guys actually do it. Pretty handy old catch. And that's the beauty about it. You don't have to go out and kill those big bunches. And so where do you stop? I mean, where do you draw the line? If you're under a big patch of fish, do you just keep on catching them or you actually just head home? Today's probably a perfect example. I've got, I could probably stretch my orders to a maximum of 200 kilos. Yep. So that's probably what my target will be, is the so... 200. And after that, I'll just throw the end off and let these fish swim away for another day. And you also said that there's probably fish just swimming around in this big section here. They're not actually caught in the net. Nope. So you want to let those go before they actually even get into the net. I've invested in this red net. Yep. Because it's highly visible for fish to see. OK. So unlike, you know, sort of other nets that are out there that are designed to be invisible. Yep. These fish are continuously able to see the net. And I can just see them just continuously be observing the shot, gauging in the shot on how many I want. And right now, I've just untie the, the um, net off the boat. Yep. And we'll just let it open, and these let fish will open. Just and any fish that are in here can just swim away. Swim away. Well, this is an awesome haul, but it's actually just the right amount for what Brendan wants. So he's opening up. Matthew's just letting the net go at the front, so every fish that's just been circling around in here can escape and just head off, uh, because. This is a great catch, and nothing will be frozen. Everything will be filled it up or used whole. So a brilliant catch. I don't know if we brought him any luck, but uh, <laughs> I reckon he knows what he's doing.